All right, Legends, welcome back. Okay, so uh, let's look at our user interface. And uh, if you're anything uh, familiar with Dreamweaver or Fireworks, this somewhat looks familiar. We've got a lot of things that Flash wants to already help us out and assist us with. Uh, this is a lot if you're not familiar with it, but it's very simple. It's very, very simple. Really quick, create from template. Well, right off the bat, these are the things you can see we can do with Flash. We can create advertising banners. We can create advertising for Android. Simple animation, banners, media playback, presentations. Over here, we have ActionScript 3.0. 3.0. This is what we're going to be on. I have no idea why there's ActionScript 2.0. Like any programming language, like PHP, there's version 4.9, 5.0, 5.2. There's no reason not to use the latest version. They have the most functions compiled. It's the industry standard. We're going to avoid ActionScript 2.0 by any means. Air, Air for Android, Air for iOS. These are all for mobile devices. So again, we're going to scrap 2.0. We're not going to use that. We're going to click on uh, Action Action Script 3.0 when we begin, and we'll talk about more what Action Script is later in the next video or two. And these down here, these are a little bit more advanced right now. They're not. Oh, they'll make sense, but we got to focus on this first before we jump into the deep end. Over here, this is just going to take us to an Adobe website where there's like a ton of reading, introduction to Flash. I'm not in the mood to read all this stuff. I already know. Pretty much 99% of Flash. Um, it's not hard. It's very not hard. Again, if you click on any one of these things, it'll take you to the Adobe website, and it'll just be like a book or a whole chapter of nothing but words. Nothing but words, top to bottom, left to right. So what we're going to do is before we jump into a template, we're going to break Flash down, and we're going to jump into ActionScript 3.0. Now, ActionScript, it's like JavaScript. It's a scripting language. It's... Um, if else statements that you know there's variables and stuff like that but keep in mind you don't need to even use action script to do stuff in flash like if we wanted to create a simple animation with no action script going on in the background whether we had um i don't know like snow falling from the sky you know if you go to like as a crazy example, like Happy Feet 2 website, there's like penguins, you see the little pieces of snow coming down, it just, it's all moving, a lot of motion. You, we don't have to do that. We, you do, long story short, you don't have to do ActionScript when you deal with Flash. So let's look at this now. So we clicked on ActionScript 3.0. Over to the right, we have just tools, pretty much something like you'd see in Photoshop. We have our text tool, we've got a rectangular tool, we've got a uh, paint bucket to fill in large chunks of color. Over here on the right, we got our properties. We have our ActionScript 3.0. Target Flash, again, industry standard is 11.2. We're not doing, uh, I'm assuming that we're gonna build something for a website, not a mobile device. So if we're on a mobile device, we would change this up. We'll do that in later tutorials, but for the meantime, keep this at 11.2. Down here, Kind of looks like a movie editing system if you're if you've ever been on Adobe Premiere or After Effects or any screen recording software. This is kind of our timeline. You click on this, it's gonna roll through and it's gonna play our animation. We're gonna set it to repeat and all that stuff. So at first this kind of looks overwhelming, like anything. Anything looks overwhelming at first. Once you've figured it out, it's extremely easy. And uh, yeah, just kind of get used to this. This is again, this is not a canvas. We call this a canvas in Photoshop, but in Flash we call it a stage. That really means nothing to me. It's pretty much the same thing. All of our work is going to go inside of our canvas or stage, potato, potato. And uh, yeah, just get familiar with this. Uh, hopefully this made sense. We got our timeline right here, our motion editor. And uh, yeah, good luck with this. In the next video, we'll talk about our, flat, our Flash extension our flash extensions, .fla and .swf. All right, guys, good luck with this. See you in the next video.